Hi friends! Welcome to day five of our grain cleaning school. As you might be able to tell from the video feed, I am in my bedroom. I'm just gonna tilt the iPad here to show you the scene here today. Um, first of all, I think it's important you should know the most difficult thing ever about going live and broadcasting is always your setup, especially if you're moving from room to room every day. I highly discourage you from doing that if you're going to start your own broadcast. But for the purposes of Green Cleaning School, I thought it would be more effective to be streaming in the room that we're referring to. Not that I'm actually showing you the actual cleaning happening, but you get the drift, right? Welcome if you're brand new here, if this is your first time this week tuning in live. If you're back and you've been with us all week, uh, it's Green Cleaning School, Whole Fit Green Cleaning School on this week, mirroring the Green Cleaning Challenge that doTERRA as a collective is running this week. So if you um, aren't on our Whole Fit Oil community team, then head over to doTERRA's page and you're going to find the recipes that I'm referring to today. And just real quick so you know, every day this week, we've been in a different room of the house teaching you how to very simply use your own doTERRA essential oils and simple ingredients like vinegar and baking soda and cast oil soap, for example, to make almost everything you'd need to clean everything in your house in just different proportions. So tap the screen or comment if you've been participating this week. Perhaps share with us what um, the simplest recipe was that you made this week. Maybe something that surprised you with how effective it was. Um, I am dual streaming on Instagram, so hello you guys there. And I'm in our Whole Fit Essential Oil community group streaming live where you'll also find um, our green cleaning ebook. So if you just search actually by topic, green cleaning in the group, all of the posts from this week along with the ebook will be there. Okay, so yes, yeah, say hello you guys if you're on. Uh, what we're gonna go through today are, are two recipes for supporting health and happiness in the bedroom. Take your minds out of the gutter. This is all about green cleaning today, okay? I don't wanna see those emojis happening. I'm totally kidding, I know you're not gonna do that. Not in this community. If we were over on Periscope, that would be opening the floodgates, right? <laughs> okay, so this checklist, as you can see here, okay? These are the recipes we're going through right now. So Instagram, head over to doTERRA's page if you wanna find these recipes. And team, there we go. This is what it looks like today. So I wanna review with you a mattress powder and a carpet deodorizer or a carpet refresher. And then I also wanna share with you what we tend to put in the diffusers at night to promote deep sleep um, and a few other little tips. So we decided last year when we were making the move into a new home that we were going to invest in organic everything for the bed. And so I'm gonna share um, our favorite brands with you guys in case that's something that might be on your you know, to-do list eventually. Okay, so the first thing I want to go through, um, and Facebook, I'm going to kind of tilt as we go here. Actually, I think I'm going to lift this up. Do, do, do. Instagram, you're going to stay stable there. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over with you guys today is how important it is to clean your mattress. Anybody know why? Anyone want to venture into uh, that territory? Have you guys ever seen that post that I did? I think it was last year. It pretty much went as viral as a post could ever go. Uh, when it comes to essential oils, I shared an excerpt out of um, the Essential Life book talking about what happens to a mattress over time and why it ends up becoming, you know, 10 to 20 pounds heavier than it was when you first bought it. Why is that, you guys? Dust mites. Kathy got it. Fantastic mom over on Instagram, dust and bugs, yes. Chi Chi said dead skin cells, you've got it. There's a lot of stuff in there, you guys, that your eyeballs cannot see. Jennifer, that's right, dust mites. So how about we come up with a solution for this? Just like we like to do with everything in the essential oil lifestyle. So I'm gonna grab the mattress powder and explain what you do. Okay, so this recipe that we're using today let me just pull it over here. Okay, so this recipe involves half a cup of baking soda and then five drops of lavender 
and five drops of peppermint. You could also use tea tree oil or melaleuca. So I um, quadrupled the proportions and put this into a larger glass mason jar. Just labeled it mattress as you can see here. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to sprinkle on your bare mattress. So you can see here that in preparation for this broadcast, I'm going to be making over our bed, which we do, uh, the goal would be once a week. <laughs> Doesn't always happen. Uh, more like every other week, all right? So um, what I always do though, when whenever we're changing over the bedding, is I always do a light sprinkling of the mattress powder. You let it sit for 30 minutes at least. You can let it sit longer, and then you vacuum it, okay? Hey, Kirsten. Yeah, so you're gonna, you're gonna sprinkle it on and then you're gonna vacuum it. And what this is doing is it's basically absorbing the nasties, okay? And it's deodorizing your mattress at the same time. And it's also working to um, just kind of serve as a protectant, right? Now, uh, I wanna take the opportunity right now to explain the mattress we have, since uh, you know some of you might have what we had prior to this one, which was a spring mattress. Just so you know, spring mattresses are more prone to bugs and mites and things being stored within them, okay? So we switched over to this brand called Essentia. Just like essential, but without the L. And they're organic, they even have essential oils built in. It's a foam type mattress. I'm gonna just walk over, you guys can see that's, that's the width of it there, okay? So it's quite compact, very comfortable, very comfortable. Um, and it's also going to be way less prone to having and attracting bugs and mites to live within the mattress. So that's what's typically happening within a spring coil mattress, okay? So that's the mattress pattern. I mean, this is as simple as it gets, right? Baking soda is one of those ingredients that uh, just like vinegar has hundreds of uses, literally, in your home. Not only with cleaning, um, but obviously we know within baking. Also for self-care and skin, it can work as an alkalizer, it softens the skin, and it also is a great exfoliant. So baking soda is amazing, but I won't go off on a tangent there. It's just so incredible for this purpose. So that's the mattress powder. The second one is a very similar approach for the carpet. So this is going to work like, thank you, Christine, uh, this is going to work like a deodorizer for your carpets. So we actually have all bamboo wood flooring in the house. We don't have any carpet. That was like one of the first things I wanted to be able to do when we had a house was eventually have zero carpet because I just believe there's so much nasty in there that you can't see. And I, I just want to be able to see what's on the floor. Are you guys with me? Do you know what I mean? Like I want to be able to run my Dyson through the house and really feel like I'm getting everything and not worry that there's things hiding in the mattress, or sorry, in the floor, in the carpet. So um, we do though, I do love area rugs and like shag carpet. So I'll just flip this for a second. You can see right now I'm actually standing on one, right? So this is a perfect use for this carpet refresher that, that's in the recipes today. So um, I have ours in just a smaller, little glass mason jar, okay? And what you're going to do is add one cup of baking soda. Again, there's that baking soda, so amazing. And 20 drops of lemon. Now again, I've repeated this all week, but you can alternate really any of the cleansing essential oils that are in the prep checklist for the spring cleaning week. You can use whatever you like. So if you really love lavender, I mean, we draw on lavender so much with cleaning, especially with laundry. You could, you could add that to your powder and sprinkle that on, or you could use Purify Blend. Um, I would just caution you from using anything that might potentially bring a color with it, such as wild orange. It tends to have um, a little bit of an orange um, color to it, so you don't wanna be putting that on a white carpet, right? Um, other oils like Balance or like the blends, those have coconut oil in them. Um, sometimes the blends have coconut oil, so you wanna be careful that you're not adding um, an oil that is, is a blend made for topical um, use and dilution. So anyway, all of those citrus oils that are in your prep checklist, they could, they could be used for this. So, so we have lemon in this one. And, um, sorry, one second. What's that? Okay, one sec, can you get my wallet? 
in my purse there. I gotta hurry up because I gotta go. Um, so you just sprinkle it on the carpet. You can put pop some holes in the lid, make it a mesh lid. You sprinkle it on and you let it sit ideally overnight so it really draws everything up and then you give it a vacuum. And that again is just really effective. Um, so when I go to make the bed right now, what I'll be doing is using the linen spray from the other day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give the mattress and the pillows a nice spray. Then I'm going to tuck some cotton balls with a couple drops of lavender into the pillowcases, okay? That's a nice tip for you. I make the sheets up, and the sheets that we use are a brand called Etitude. They're 100% organic bamboo and super, super soft. So you can actually see those linked up in the Whole Fit shop, okay? Um, the last thing I wanted to mention, okay, I'm just gonna walk over here, is diffusers, okay? So you can see I have a Lumo diffuser here, and Chris has one on his side. And um, the, my favorite, blend for promoting deeper sleep would be either Serenity blend on its own. It's beautiful. It's like a soft lavender um, with vanilla and cedarwood. It's just yummy. And then um, the other one would be Lavender and Breathe together or Easy Air in Canada. Okay. So those, I mean, I love, love, love diffusing essential oils at night. Do it 30 minutes before bed. So the aromatics fill the room and you do not need to let it run all night. Just you know, do it, th fire it up 30 minutes before bed. You can turn it off when you're gonna go to sleep. Um, I do it with the kids as well. Yes, thank you, Christine, for commenting there. Um, I've gotta run. I'm alone with the kids today, so I wanted to hop on with you guys, but be sure that you check out the Green Cleaning ebook over on the page there, and you guys head over to doTERRA's page, enter your picture of one of the recipes from today, and you could win something today, also in our oil group. So go find the post for day five. And we'll see you back here tomorrow from the closet. Some great recipes there. Bye guys, have a great night.